not shrimp louis, but shrimp sandwiches, and then we have to have the right coleslaw there for the delegation from Washington, yes. D.C., because that's really important. Right. And uh, that kind of thing. But uh, First, got to do this video, though. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Welcome to another Topic Tuesdays. This is Dr. Mike McCall, Source Health Center. You kind of got through the wellness one I did last week. I think it was good, a little off tangent, but I want to bring it home. I'm going to focus and bring it home. You're probably asking, well, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to use mindfulness, which I think is the most amazing word in the Western Hemisphere to help us understand the concepts of Zen Buddhism and meditation and all these things. Um, so mindfulness, what is that? Well, when I first uh, started working in a restaurant, I was following my best friend, Skip Hogan. Skip Hogan uh, was so good at getting things done very fast. And I thought, well, I got to be like Skip because he could just do, 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 do. He just moved and moved. And I did that kind of work for years, and I was known a little bit to be klutzy. I'd break a glass, that type of thing. My wife was like, why do you have to hurry through things? And I'm like, well, I gotta get it done. And that dialogue went on for at least a good 20 years, until finally one day I was like, you know, I think I might understand mindfulness. I've been reading about Zen Buddhism since I was 17, and then Eckhart Tolle came, which is some really good books on that. And I finally realized you can't look at something to get it done fast. And get something over with like I gotta rush to the TV set now and that because you don't even know in the next moment if you don't look at that so in mindfulness it's just slowing down and like chores I really hate to do is hand washing dishes and folding laundry and putting away hate it but I've kind of made myself do it and breathe through the process and go and when I did I started folding laundry and I go well, I'm gonna make that corner a little bit better and I was breathing into the process because really what else is there in life other than what you're what's in front of you right now that precious moment of that where I was basically sacrificing it because oh I got to get that done and then I can do this and then I can play computer games or um, I can do something that seems like it's fun at the time but it's so distracting and so a lot of my life to some degrees is I wasn't in the moment so you don't really develop yourself and really get a richness in life I mean every moment you have is precious you breathe in you breathe out how do I keep doing that how come I don't die and with that breath, a lot of the ancient uh, Eastern philosophy, and now we're, the Western world is starting to you know, measure it and seeing the differences in the body, just breathing through stuff fully is really important. It's not distracting. It's very difficult at first, but it's worth it. So I'd suggest you do it something that's a menial task and just breathe through it and take your time and watch how your hands move and that type of stuff is mindfulness. And it's interesting because when you're mindful, it completely shifts all the biochemistry and all the electrical current in your brain has been known already and by that it shifts your immune system your endocrine system and many things so part of your wellness can be maybe you can't change your diet maybe you can't drink water you can at least try one thing and from that one thing you never know how things will spring from there and remember where you heard it source health center dr mike mccall i do it for the woo i'll see you next tuesday